goals goals are vital to anybody if you are in any industry like finance manufacturing healthcare it cyber security support whatever whatever the industry you are in goals are essential to someone's progress if you see any company they would be having a goal they would be having set of goals to achieve and also as an individual why don't you have a goal and in this video i am going to set up my goals for 2023 and uh, i already set uh, a set of i mean a list of goals for 2022 i pinned the, that uh, goal sheet in my uh, twitter profile and i am also going to review that and uh, find what are the things i managed to achieve and what else do i need to achieve uh, and also i am going to set up some new goals for 2023 without further ado let me begin before i set up my goals for 2023 let me begin with the review of the previous year's goal that i have already set and this is the tweet that i made a year ago and uh, it has the hashtag of my goals for 2022 and here you may see the goals that i have mentioned for 2023 so these are these are the goals uh, uh, you know i was trying to uh, accomplish in 2022 and let's see the first one the first one is make good videos on youtube uh, frequently actually uh, i made some significant videos on youtube in 2022 and some of my videos uh, uh, grabbed more attention than others and also i hope i gave some uh, informative contents to you so if you see my channel i got uh, 939 subscribers and thank you to thank you to each and every one of you for giving me the constant support and you can see the the list of videos that i made in 2022 and the issue is the gap between every video i made uh, i took some time between every video so i think i should try to overcome that gap i should i should try to reduce that gap in 2023 i need to make the videos frequently and uh, i need to ensure the content quality and also the video quality and for the content quality i am I'm, I'm planning to learn some advanced stuffs and for the video quality um, i think uh, i'm going to enhance my video quality as well i think that's a surprise i'll be uh, informing that very soon i guess so let's see i'm hoping for the best in this uh, make good videos on youtube frequently and uh, the next one earn ecppt and oscp so this was my goal for 2022 but i partially achieved it yeah i got ecppt on 2022 i took the exam around uh, july and august i guess i actually took that exam for 30 days the actual uh, duration of the exam was uh, 15 days but uh, i took 30 days to achieve that in in my first attempt i uh, couldn't clear that but in the second attempt i managed to clear it, it was a quite uh, amazing experience i really enjoyed it um, yeah actually i also made a review video about it so you can find uh, the video in my channel so i made the video four months ago where i shared all my exam experiences and uh, oscp which is i think not only for me uh, even some of you might be having this dream to achieve the oscp examination and it is very popular examinations in uh, i know among the security uh, researchers and the community and also among the recruiters so people uh, also always prefer this oscp certification when it comes penetration testing so i am hoping to uh, take this exam this year but that is not very easy i need to do a lot of preparations before that i am sure i won't be feeling confidence at any point but i need to put my uh, effort in the preparation and uh, i need to give some uh, time for that preparation before taking up the exam so that is one thing and uh, the next one is learn malware analysis and reverse engineering uh, this topic i think i already done few videos about malware analysis and here you may find a uh, few videos i made a video about emoted malware and uh, malware analysis introduction a simple try hack me room i have gone through that and uh, reverse engineering i did couple of videos about the reverse engineering but it was a simple reversing challenge it didn't take much time to accomplish but uh, yeah and also i also did some some other uh, malware analysis videos like i explained the emoted uh, squibbly do technique here in this video 
uh, and also I have analyzed one remote access trojan, a random rack and a buffer overflow. Actually, this one is the reverse engineering. I did some reversing along with that some buffer overflow helped me to solve this challenge. I still remember. Uh, yeah, this one is quite interesting and the fascinating uh, backdoor. Actually, the backdoor is called a serpent. It took, uh, uh, I mean, it was uh, using some uh, different weird uh, methods to evade the detection and uh, exfiltrate the data. So I really enjoyed doing this malware analysis. I'm really hoping to make more videos about this malware analysis and reverse engineering. All the malware analysis videos so far I did related to some code analysis. Like I reviewed some visual, visual basic code uh, to find the, the mal malware behavior. And also I did some uh, exercises to extract the malicious code from the web documents. So that's, that, I mean, those are the things I did uh, in, in my previous videos, but I'm really looking forward. I'm really uh, excited to uh, study more in the malware analysis and reverse engineering, especially like uh, advanced reverse engineering, like learning the C and C++, learning the opcode, learning the assembly language and understanding the low level instruction set. So those are the things I'm planning to focus in uh, in the upcoming year in 2023 in this year. Uh, yeah, so this one uh, is my goal. I'm going to retain this specific entry in my 2023 goal sheet as well. And uh, what about the cyber forensics? Uh, I think I made uh, uh, some, some videos about the cyber forensics as well. I am planning to do, you know, some more videos whenever I'm finding some interesting uh, exercises in forensics, I'll be surely delivering it as a video here in my channel. So that is one thing I need to give, I need to assure. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm also going to retain the specific entry in my sheet for the upcoming year for the goals of 2023. And uh, the next one, learning Golang, JavaScript, Enhanced Python and PowerShell skills. Not only these four languages, actually in 2022, I haven't done significant things in these languages, but uh, uh, I'm planning to do it in 2023. I need to focus on these languages. Apart from this, uh, from that, I'm, I'm adding few more languages in that list. So here are the goal sheet that I filled for 2023. I added few points and I retained a few points. And here is the point along with the PowerShell skills. I, I appended the C, C++ and PHP. PHP is the web server language. Most of the web servers running based on the PHP. So PHP, understanding PHP is essential when you are dealing with the web applications. So that is one thing and C and C++ I'll tell you why C and C++ are the fundamental languages though it could be uh, a difficult one to understand it is still worth to learn because if you see the reverse engineering or if you see any windows internal components it's based on C and C++ if you see for example the DLL files it is made it is made upon of uh, the C++ language so if you know the C++ you will be able to write your own DLL file it can be malicious it can be benign whatever but C and C++ are vital for reverse engineers so I am planning to learn C and C++ as well so this is my the list of programmings that I am planning to learn and uh, the next point is, uh, let's, let me go to this previous one, get a job raise. Actually, I got a, go, go, I got a job raise this year and uh, now, I, now I am in uh, uh, an excellent workplace. So I am planning to learn from my workplace. So that, that, that is what I added here in this point. So I'm going to learn a lot of things from my workplace. I'm so excited to, that, to do that. And, uh, and the next one, do some useful cyber defense projects. And yes, I haven't done a significant project, but I think I can mention one thing here. Um, I made a simple Python script that pulls malware from the malware bazaar. Malware bazaar is a repository where you will be able to see a bunch of malwares. Uh, you'll be able to download the malwares you want. And uh, actually it has the API. I created one simple script which pulls the malware from that uh, uh, get, uh, that, that malware bazaar uh, repository, that content delivery network. And uh, I'm planning to do, to make, uh, uh, you know, many more uh, projects that can be helpful to the community. I can contribute to the community through that. So I'm planning to do that as well. So that is uh, one thing that is in my checklist. And also I have added uh, here in my point, in, in, you know, here in the 2023 points, do some useful cyber defense projects and upload in GitHub for the community. So that is one of my points. All right. And uh, yeah, I, I appointed three more uh, stuffs here. So which is very essential, I, I believe, helping the community. Actually, when I'm 
uh, struggling to solve any challenge i always uh, you know approach the community they are there to to help me uh, to 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 assist with their uh, 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 you know answers but i need to help to the community i need to give it back right so one when i solve some challenges i'm i'm ready to help i'm i need to uh, you know uh, improve the quality of helping the others so that is also uh, in my wish list so i'm planning to help my help the community uh, where i am and uh, the next one it's a very fascinating and interesting one i've already taking this but uh, i wish to mention this here in 2023 checklist because i am so keen i am so uh, curious to do more things to utilize this platform more efficiently because try hack me and hack the platforms are very fascinating platform actually it has lot of amazing stuffs in it for example let me go to uh, the try hack me platforms uh try hack me platform so first of all let me uh, show the try hack me platform and uh, here it is actually if you go as a beginner if you start learning in try hack me it will be very helpful because the try hack me challenges are more beginner friendly than hack the box here you will be able to choose the category you want it can be a ctf or it can be a walk through walk through is something they give more theoretical stuffs you will be able to learn uh, more theories to understand the concept from i mean from the scratch so and the ctf is something to capture uh, you know it's like a capture the flag you'll be doing some hands on exercises to capture certain things some some secured i mean the things kept in the secured place so that is the capture the flag and the difficulty you can choose and you can take up the challenge whatever you want for example if you search for uh, forensics then you will be seeing uh, all the exercises related to forensics so these are the things uh, i need to mention about the try hack me and hack the box actually it is uh, it's an advanced one compared to try hack me hack the box is the advanced one where you will see a lot of stuff to learn first of all uh, let's see the the platform how it looks actually the look itself amazing so it has some incredible look it's a gamified environment looks like uh, you know you know it will be like it will give you a feel of uh, playing game so that is the advanced advantage of the hack the box and you can see here if you scroll down the labs you will see lot of exercises for example the starting point if you are a beginner in hack the box then you can feel free to take this starting point challenges because the starting point challenges comes with the walk through sheet where they gave the complete walk through to accomplish the challenge so if you stuck anywhere you will be able to refer that sheet without the hesitation and you will be able to accomplish it so that is an advantage so it will give you some hands on uh, some initial experience in hack the box so uh, how it functions how you have to solve the challenges like that and uh, if you see the machines so this is where the the important stuff lies if you see uh, you know you you know you will be able to see lot of machines here active machines and the retired machines so these are the categories in active machines you will see some machines and uh, if you go to the retired machines then you will be seeing bunch of machines and you can filter it based on the operating system you want and also you can able to be a filter based on the difficulty and the status advanced to search you can do some advanced to search based on the vulnerabilities and all so this is uh, one thing but if you want to access the retired machines then you have to be a vip user of hack the box but active machines you can be access as a free user so you have to connect you have to be connected to the hack the box uh, network through the vpn and you will be able to access any machine you want so that is how the hack the box works so these are the machines all these machines are vulnerable uh, in some manner so you have to find the vulnerability and exploit it that's it and uh, going to the challenges so this is the main thing uh, you know uh, that the differentiate the other platforms from the hack the box i mean uh, differentiate hack the box from other platforms if you see you i mean there are a lot of categories and every category has bunch of challenges if you see the pawn it's a binary exploitation hardware hardware hacking crypto cryptographical challenges if you are fascinated to learn the ransomware stuff then cryptography is the go to choice and mobile mobile application pen testing those things not pen testing some some cracking and all and reversing it's a reverse engineering binaries game pawn is hacking the games and forensics doing some forensic stuff and find trying to find what happened exactly in the specific endpoint or the or servers or whatever and miscellaneous stuffs the challenges that doesn't uh, the challenges that don't comes under these categories will falls in the miss category i haven't take up any challenge in this mix category but 
uh, it is always uh, a good thing to go and web application challenges here and you will see list of web applications you can see the difficulty here as a beginner you can begin from the easy web application challenges and you'll be able to uh, find the web application vulnerabilities and exploit it and you'll be able to gain the underlying machine access and the flag so that is the uh, thing i wanted to mention about the challenges and if you go to the tracks you'll be able to see the separate topics, the different different topics and the missions related to the topic. And for example, if you go to the beginner tag, track, you will be able to see the list of machines that, that is specially for the beginners. And these machines are having the, not only machines, also the challenges, having the easy difficulty. So it will be very helpful for you uh, if you are beginning in, in Hack the Box. So that is one thing. If I want to talk about the Hack the Box, I'll be talking all the day, but uh, our objective is to define the goals for 2023. So I did that, taking up my Hack the Box and Try Hack Me challenges and machines and challenges. I'm sorry, taking up Try Hack Me and Hack the Box machines and challenges and making videos about that. And the last one, last but not least, going beyond truth. And this is a quality that I need to improve because whenever I'm taking up a machine, I do stop with the flag that when I when I obtain the flag, when I obtain the root flag, I stop the challenge there. But you have to go beyond that. Once you obtain the root privilege in any machine, then you'll be having the complete access, complete control of the machine. Then you'll be able to see the source code of the application that you have reached. Right. So what you can do, you can probably go through that source code of the application and you'll be able to find where the, the, the exactly the, uh, the glitch lies. So what was the issue? how that vulnerability happened, how it can be fixed. So those things you can understand. So that is what a real learning in, in capture the flag. So that is what I'm trying to do. Not only the machines, even if I'm taking up any web application challenge or whatever, I'm planning to do that. So that is my, that is the, I mean, those are the things that I'm planning to do. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm ready to post it. I already pinned it in my goals. You can see. I updated my goals for 2023. You can also do like what I did for your, I mean, the you, you can define your goals, what you are planning to achieve in 2023 and you can pin it somewhere safely so that you'll be able to see those goals and you'll be able to achieve that. Uh, you can work towards that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just set my goals for uh, 2023 uh, through this video. I really wish to inspire some of you to set your goals for 2023. Uh, if I really manage to do, then I would be very happy. Uh, yeah, this is what I uh, hope you really enjoyed this. If you really did uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing my channel. If you have any other opinion and also what are all the goals that you are setting, put it in the comment section. I'm so curious to read those. Uh, you can also share this video among your friends so that it will be inspiring some of uh, the other uh, people. I'll catch you next time with another exciting video very soon. Till then, I'm signing off. Cheers and uh, I love you all. Thank you so much.